Hi Fixer family, it's Charmin. And today is the day that I am doing the guest bathroom spruce up reveal. Welcome to Fixin' Two. Guys, I am super excited to share this with you. And I know that throughout the projects, you guys have caught little glimpses here and there of other parts of the bathroom. But today I am sharing all of it with you and how it all came together. And I know I've said this in a couple of the other videos, that this was becoming close to one of my favorite rooms in the house. Well, I think it has, it truly has. I'm in love with it. I love the way that it really shares just the way I, I'm decorating right now. And I am so in love with the rustic farmhouse look. And given the opportunity that I had with all of the free reclaimed wood and stuff, this turned out to be such an awesome project. So without further ado, take a look at what it looked like before. and what it looks like now. Do you guys love it? Let me know down in the comment section below if you really love the way that it turned out. And of course, any questions that you may have, if I didn't cover them when I was going through each one of these projects, please make sure that you ask those questions down in the comments below. You can also um, message me over on Instagram, on my Facebook page, and also my email address is down below as well. You can email me and ask any questions, and I'll be try to help you as best I can. Guys, this bathroom reveal was um, a labor of love. Um, it, you know, was um, some things were really simple, some things were a little tedious, and some of the things that we definitely realized wasn't going to work, and only through trial and error did we realize that. And sometimes that's the way doing home projects is. For instance, the bathroom mirror. Now, I had done some research on different ways of being able to put the, the frame around that mirror. And there was uh, using command strips, there was using liquid nails to permanently put it on there, and there was also the method of hanging it like you would a picture frame. Well, I was like, oh, command strips, that would be great we went to put those up had gotten them all around the mirror went to put the wood on there and it was an absolute no-go they would not stick at all to my wood i don't know what it was we had allowed for the um stain to dry 24 hours and nothing it would not stick for anything but 
course, we had the other two options and we opted to do the hanging it like a picture frame and it worked out beautifully. Another thing that we found out that um, because we had originally gone with uh, measuring the wood for the frame, according to us putting it up with the command strips, when we decided to hang it like a picture frame, we wound up having a gap at the bottom of the mirror, um, probably, I don't know, about an inch maybe, maybe not quite an inch, but you could definitely see the mirror at the underneath there. But let me show you what I wound up doing and it's gonna, it works perfectly. I wound up painting that mirror with black acrylic paint and now it just appears to be a shadow. It just looks like a shadow and that acrylic paint, if we decide to ever take that frame off, we could just take a straight razor and clean it right off. So those were two of the things that happened while we were doing this project, but I am so in love with the way that it turned out. It definitely gives that mirror character, this whole bathroom just has character that it didn't have before and I am so glad. Guys, if this is the first time to my channel, I am so glad that you have joined us and make sure that you hit that subscribe button down there in the notification bell right next to it so that you can become a part of the Fixer family and not miss a single video. I upload videos every Friday and every now and again I will throw in an extra special one during the week of some kind. You never know what might show up. I also, my husband and I, love Love to um, go RVing and we love to travel a little bit and so I'll throw some of those in there from time to time as well. Well guys and if you are already a part of the Fixer family I'm so glad that you came along for this series and I hope that you're excited about those things that are coming up for the fall season. So stay tuned next week I have got an awesome fall haul. It is a Dollar Tree fall haul that I have been Kind of compiling and putting together so I'm excited to share that with you guys so stay tuned to what's to come and always remember to keep looking up because that's where it all is. I'll see you on the next video.